Hello everyone. Welcome to edupediaworld.com and thanks for watching Edupedia World videos. This is Vikas Patel. This is the third chapter of grade 9 Motions of the Earth. In this chapter, we are going to explore in detail about different motions of the earth and their effects. We live in a modern world surrounded by technological miracles. We get answers to almost all our questions very quickly. Well, not all the questions have answers though. All this knowledge and understanding has not developed overnight. Humans have been the most curious animal present on earth. We have been trying to unfold the mysteries of our surrounding and ourselves since very long time. The early civilizations created the foundation for science and technology to flourish. The ancient Greeks, Romans were brilliant in studying the sky and the movements of stars and planets. Their studies form the basis of our understanding about the universe for a long time. Despite their best efforts, lack of science and technological advancement made their understanding very limited. For a long time, people believed that the earth was flat and stood still at the center of the solar system. In 300 BC, Aristarchus of Samos discovered that the earth spins every day and not the stars. He also told people that the earth travels around the sun. These ideas were not accepted by the orthodox people until Ferdinand Magellan, the Spanish explorer, returned to Spain in his ship Victoria after sailing round the world, proving once and for all that the earth was round. Later on, many people helped in developing accurate understanding about how our solar system and its members work along with other heavenly bodies in the universe. Today, with the help of modern equipment, we are well aware of the way our earth is working in tandem with its neighbors of the solar system and the universe. In this chapter, we will look into different motions of our earth and how they influence our life. This chapter has been divided into four topics. Motions of the earth, rotation of earth, effects of rotation, revolution of earth, effects of revolution. This is the first session of this chapter. In this session, we are going to learn in detail about various motions of our earth and specifically rotation of our earth. In this session, we are going to try and achieve the following objectives. Acquire knowledge about the different motions of the earth. Develop understanding about rotation. Acquire knowledge about how the earth axis is inclined. Before we begin our exploration about rotation of earth, let us look at some of the common misconceptions that exist regarding the same. Many people have this misconception that the earth rotates from east to west. Some people believe that the speed of earth's rotation is same at all places. Some of us think that the earth's axis is vertical. Few people believe all places on earth experience 12 hours of day and 12 hours of night throughout the year. 
Some of us think that there are only two motions of the earth. Well, all these are myths. Let's find out what the real facts are. Our earth is a large spherical ball just like other planets and stars that we see in the sky. It has a radius of more than 6000 kilometers and circumference of more than 40,000 km. Our Earth undergoes multiple motions. Well, our Earth is not a perfect sphere. It is slightly flattened at the poles and bulging at the equator. Our Earth undergoes multiple motions simultaneously. The motions of our Earth are rotation, revolution, precision. Let us look at them one by one. Rotation. The Earth spins on its imaginary axis from west to east. This motion is known as rotation. Earth takes 24 hours to complete one rotation. Revolution The Earth moves around the Sun along a fixed path known as orbit. This motion is known as revolution. The Earth takes 365 days and 6 hours to complete one revolution around the Sun. Precision The Earth's axis undergoes a change of orientation and just like a spinning top, the direction of Earth's axis undergoes a slow precision. Earth's axis completes one precision in 26,000 years. Due to precision, the pole star changes between Polaris to Vega. Rotation of Earth The Earth rotates from west to east on an imaginary line known as axis. The axis is an imaginary line passing through the center of the Earth. The two end points of the Earth's axis are the North Pole and the South Pole. The time taken by Earth to complete one rotation is 24 hours. The speed at which the Earth rotates on its axis from west to east is not uniform throughout. The speed is about 1600 km per hour at the equator but falls to almost zero at the poles. This is because Earth is bulgier at the equator and flatter at the poles. The circumference of the Earth at the equator is the largest. So if the Earth takes 24 hours to rotate once, the speed will have to be more at the equator. Look at the speed of the Earth's rotation at different latitudes. At 0 degrees, it is 1669 0.9 km per hour. As we move to higher latitudes, the circumference of the Earth reduces. So does the speed of rotation. As we reach close to 60 degrees, the speed becomes half of what it is at equator. And at 90 degrees, the speed of rotation is zero. The exact time taken by the Earth to complete one full rotation on its axis can be calculated in either of the following ways. First, we can take a fixed heavenly body, say a distant star other than the Sun, to study the time taken by the Earth to complete one rotation. The interval of time between two successive passage of the distant star over the observer's meridian is known as 
a sidereal day. The term sidereal has been derived from a Latin word sidus, meaning a star. The length of a sidereal day is 23 hours, 56 minutes and 4 seconds. When the duration of time for one complete rotation is calculated as an interval of time between two successive passages of the midday sun over the observer's meridian, it is known as the solar day. The average length of the solar day is exactly 24 hours. The solar day is longer than the sidereal day by 3 minutes and 56 seconds. The axis on which the earth rotates is not vertical. If the axis was vertical, then every place on the earth would have had 12 hours of daylight and 12 hours of darkness daily. But this is not true. We know that there are more hours of sunlight during the summer season than during the winter season, especially in places located far away from the equator. The pole experiences 6 months of complete daylight followed by 6 months of darkness. The reason for this lies in the inclined axis of the earth. You will understand this better in the following sessions of this chapter. The axis of the earth is inclined at an angle of 66.5 degrees from the plane of ecliptic or 23.5 degrees from the perpendicular to the plane of ecliptic. The inclination is always in the same direction that is towards the pole star in the celestial sphere. As the pole star is at an infinite distance from the earth, the axis of the earth remains inclined to the same direction in all changing positions around the sun. This is called parallelism of the axis. This was all for the session. In the next session, we will focus on the effects of rotation of earth. Don't forget to watch. Thank you.